What's going on friends? Welcome to a brand new series. In this series, I'm going to show you how you can create client portals for your marketplaces using Glide. So Glide is a tool that I've been using very, very heavily over the last seven months to create the client and freelancer portal for the Unicorn Factory. And so before we dive into all of it, I actually wanted to quickly show you what the current freelancer portal for the Unicorn Factory looks like to give you an idea of what exactly it is that you can do inside of Glide. So in a nutshell, the way that Glide works is you connect your Airtable base to Glide and you can then convert your Airtable base into an interface that can be controlled by people who log into their portals. And this is particularly awesome if you want to create the types of functionality that allows your service providers to update their profiles, to uh, manage their portfolio, which can include adding new portfolio items updating existing portfolio items or archiving them. Glide now also serves as the CRM for each freelancer that allows them to see all of the different inquiries that they've received through the platform, what types of clients we've introduced them for, two jobs that they applied for on the job board. And the beautiful thing about Glide is that everything that happens inside of Glide is, first of all, super easy for my clients and freelancers to use, and it automatically syncs with my Airtable database, meaning that if any changes are made in Glide, it automatically updates everything inside of Airtable. Now, if you've watched any of my YouTube videos or done any of my previous courses, you'll know that I'm not really someone to switch in between different tools. And it's taken me about seven months to really dive deep into Glide, to really take full advantage of the functionality that they have created. And let me tell you, adapting Glide into my existing stack has been an absolute game changer on so many levels. First of all, it's made the process of allowing clients and freelancers to manage their accounts so much easier. I get way less support emails um, because it all just works. It's quite intuitive. It's quite fast. The second thing is, it's made it a lot easier for me to gather feedback on how interactions between my clients and freelancers go, which has allowed me to make improvements to how I connect freelancers to clients, which in turn has just led to an increase in revenue that I've been able to make through the platform because I'm addressing barriers and issues that clients and freelancers in the past were having. And then finally, and this is the thing that I think most people will find surprising, it was not that difficult to learn how Glide works. And with the different types of features that they have available natively, you can actually create quite a lot of awesome things. Now, there are a lot of different use cases that Glide solves for. The most common use cases that you'll probably see is things like client portals. So I've got a few friends who run agencies who actually just use this to allow clients to manage their progress on their different projects. I've also heard of people using it for event management. I've also heard people using it as a custom CRM system for their team. And so really what you can do with this is really limitless. But in this particular series, I'm going to be showing you how you can create clients and customer portals for your marketplace and how you can build the most commonly used functionality for these types of platforms. The use case that I'm going to be taking you through in this series is a marketplace that allows you to hire a chess coach. And so what I've done is I've created an Airtable base that contains a table with coaches, programs that coaches can organize, uh, a table for students to sign up, and also a table for students to register for different programs that the coaches list on their profile pages. You will either be able to copy my Airtable base that you can then use to follow along, or if you want, you can just start working on your already existing marketplace and your already existing Airtable base and just follow along with the different concept that I'm gonna be teaching you throughout the series. Now, the first three parts of the series is going to be about building the MVP for our coaches portal and for our student portal. And the types of features that we're going to be building in this series is, first of all, the ability for coaches to add, update, and remove coaching programs from the directory or marketplace, the ability for students to apply to join these programs, um, the ability for coaches to then either accept or decline an applicant, and then finally for the students and the coaches to be able to update their profiles. 
All of the things that you'll be learning in part one to three will cover the 80-20 of understanding how Glide works. But as soon as we are done with the first three parts, I'm going to be adding modules continuously over the next few months that will allow you to explore more common use cases that you'll typically see in marketplaces. For example, the ability to take payments using Stripe Connect, meaning that if a coach sells a program, that you can take a cut of the transaction. We will also be exploring use cases like report, uh, reporting and analytics will also be able to build a rating system for students who might want to review their coaches and then for anyone that also uses Webflow as their front end for their marketplace or directory I'll also show you how you can set up workflows that automatically update the Webflow CMS as soon as a coach or a student makes a change to their profile. And so, yeah, I'm super pumped to be sharing with you all of the different things that I have learned. I have now incorporated Glide into my no-code stack. It is here to stay and it is an absolute game changer. So if you are working on a marketplace and a directory and you're looking for a way to create the functionality that allows your customers to essentially manage their profiles, manage their offerings, then this is the tool. That you're going to want to check out so if you are interested just head on over to the course get started and i'll see you in video number one